Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today I've got here two of my favorite smart watches. One of which is the Zipz. We have seen a lot of videos about it. And this is the new TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS LTE version. Link right over here for the unboxing. Link down below so that you guys can check out prices, specifications and whatnot. But today we are going to focus on GPS accuracy. We are going to compare the Zipzy, the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS LTE. Probably I will mention TicWatch Pro 3 and you will understand. And also the iPhone 11 Pro which is indeed the device that has disappointed me. I still love my phone and it has some great things, but GPS is not one of them and you will understand a little bit better why. If you are looking for a clear winner in terms of this is really good and this one really bad or the other way around, that will be a really difficult thing to achieve because they are both great devices, accurate, and they both will be accurate in certain areas and both will fail in some areas. So I will try to share as much information as possible with you so that you can decide with all this information. Now I've been using both of them at the same time for my jogging sessions, my biking sessions. I've been sharing them on my Instagram account, which is a Portuguese account. I will leave some images right away here but nonetheless if you have the patience for it just I will leave a link down below you can follow up and check out some things that some of them you don't need to know Portuguese at all just to see the results and the work that I share right over there so that's the invitation just check it out and let's go for it now in terms of uh, applications what I've got right over here is the zip app which will be the app that I will be using to measure and show the results of the ZipZ. I've got the Strava which is the app that I'm using with the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS and also I've got the Sports Tracker which is the app that I use most of my time with the iPhone just because I've got a big history on that app in terms of goals, in terms of kilometers per year, in terms of a lot of things. So that's the way that I organize things and let's go for it. Probably we're going to start with iPhone so that we can laugh a little bit and, and you can see right on screen when I mean that laugh because um, I do swim but not while I'm jogging and as you can see right over here this is a really bad result and usually what I say in my videos and that's the honest I'm true to that is that for me when I look at something like this it is okay to me I will have a rough idea of the track that I did and that is okay but when I'm comparing devices when I'm being picky because we have to be picky in certain things and in this particular case I don't even need to be picky I just need to look at the map and this is completely wrong and you will see what I mean so the iPhone 11 Pro is something that okay it will measure the GPS it has GPS it works really nice but the nice is a bit subjective because this result is not acceptable compared with devices such as these. Now let's go to the ZipZ for example right over here and this is where we go into details which is really nice. So we can see a clear difference right over here. There is no swimming at all because I didn't swim that day. But if I go to this small bridge um, you can check that I did went on the main, on the center of the road and that is not the truth. If I go to here to Strava on the same day, this is the same day, the exact exercise, I take everything with me, my headphones and there I go. Uh, I can see right over here something that I did better on the Teak Watch Pro 3 Ultra, which is I always go right over here on the left of the the street or the road and on the left of this bridge this is a really nice example of the detail that we can get on this particular case right over here if I look at the uh, rest of the route there isn't a big issue that I can see if I look right over here more or less the same results that we have on one side probably the yeah the Tic Watch Pro 3 here is a bit more accurate because yes this is what I do I go from one end of the pier to almost the other end and sometimes when there's fishermen working here I have to do this detour and go back to the road or else I would go exactly to the end of the pier and right over here um, it's not as exact because I know that at this point 
right over here. I'm really, really almost touching the water and the TicWatch Pro 3 almost gives me that, at least with more accuracy. And here it's a little bit further. So here we are getting into detail. Now, another detail that we can see right over here is that on the zip that you can see right there, um, we see something that only me uh, knows because I did that jogging session. I always go on the left side of the road and right over here, as you can see, I'm going on the right and sometimes touching the houses, which is not, um, is not the truth. If I go right over here, I'm going to the left, 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 left. There are some mistakes. This is a mistake. I did not go through the center of the, of the street. Um, and probably this has to do with satellites as well. I'm not just blaming the smartwatches or the phone. Satellites probably have um, a fault right over here, but it, this is more accurate because as you can see, I did not go through the right. I always went to the left. And if I go right over here, we will see that there's a detour. This is a mistake, but for the most part, it did get it right. Left, 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 left on the TicWatch Pro while the Zip, and I'm not going to touch the iPhone 11 again because there's no point in doing that. Um, as you can see right over here, I was above the swimming pools and on the right hand side, which is not correct. If I did not compare and I, if I did show you just this, this would be fine because you would think, okay, it did through the right side, but no, I went to the left side of the road. So this is one of my tracks. Just go to the left, left, left. And then here I go about this roundabout. And if we go right over here in, on top of the houses, once again, right side, which is wrong. And then on the middle of the road to do this roundabout, which is completely wrong. So this is the kind of detail. Now, if you ask me right now, hey, Robert, is this too bad or is this unacceptable? No, unacceptable is the results that we get with our iPhone 11 Pro in this particular case and probably some other phones that I don't have here to test out. But um, when we compare the details, we can see some differences because this is not the route that I did. This is not, but it's more um, approximate to the reality. Left, left, left. And here it's showing me a bit on the middle of the road. This did not happen. Left, left, left. And I did went through this um, steps right over here on the park. Let us see right over here. So I was on left, but here shows on right and I cannot zoom anymore, but it is a bit off the road, but okay. Uh, then I here it shows me on the zip Z that I went through these warehouses, but that's not the truth. I just went on the sidewalk, sidewalk, sidewalk. Here is a mistake, a little bit of the warehouse. This is not correct. Uh, but here's a lot worse because it went through the houses and things like that. And here we can see another mistake while here is a lot more accurate. I did not went through those trees, but it's more accurate. And then we had the zebras. I went to the left side of the road once again, but here is a mistake. Here is a clear mistake. Let's see the zip -Z right over here, middle of the road. That's wrong, wrong. But the roundabout, the zip -Z captured better than um, the tick watch. So here is one example where the ZZ was superior than the tick watch, which gave me a bad result right over here, not so accurate results. And here went back to normal. Let's see the zip Z. Um, okay, the normal is, is not uh, well corrected because it's going on the middle of the road. But this is the uh, example that I can give you. And I could go through the rest of the route, but um, I think there's no point. The clear winner here is both of them. If we have to be picky, the Teak Watch Pro 3 Ultra GPS LTE, link down below, is superior in terms of accuracy on the overall aspect. But expect to have some issues here and there which are not exact with the reality. But it is getting 
closer and closer. The Zip-Z also gives good results as you can see and sometimes a little bit better than the Tic Watch Pro 3 but when we watch the overall aspect and this is just an example because I've been doing my jogging sessions as usual and biking sessions this being overall always a little bit superior to the Zip-Z which at this moment was the most accurate that I had but right now in terms of GPS the Tic Watch Pro 3 Ultra is more accurate. But as I was saying, there will be a few points where this will get better than this one, this one better than this one, while the TicWatch Pro on the overall will be more accurate. <laughs> Forget about the iPhone. As you can see, it's ah, not really there. It's just all over the place, just guessing. Oh, probably I'm here, or probably I'm over there. And it's really, really uh, crazy. And one thing is funny because when I'm listening to my phones, each half kilometer I get a voice stating you have done a certain amount of kilometers and so on and so forth and probably soon enough what I'm going to do is I will st I will keep on using the spots tracker because I do have a goal there but probably what I'm going to do is instead of using the phone to give data to the spots tracker I will probably have to use one of these to give the data to the spots tracker because it's completely more accurate than what I'm doing with my phone. Hope that this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.